everyone, it's me, Allegra. I'm hopping on today with some new Dior Makeup 2024. Dior has come out with a new foundation stick, which I do have here, and we're gonna test it out today. I'm so excited. And then they also came out with a contour stick. We're gonna test that out as well. And then they also did come out with a contour and highlighting palette, a, a little duo that um, we're gonna test out today as well. And I got a gift from Dior. Wait till you see this. I don't know what it is, but let me go ahead and grab it and I figured we could unbox it together. So you guys, this just got here. Now this, they said, is my platinum gift. I just made platinum at Dior Beauty. So they do have this kind of rewards program and they send you different gifts depending which level that you're at. So on the website, they did have a picture of the gift, but it didn't look this big. So I'm really, oh my gosh, you guys. Can you believe this? Wow, I am literally in shock right now. I saw a little picture on the website, but I figured it was something like a little bag. This is a huge bag, wow. And oh, oh my gosh, and a full-size Dior lip glow. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. And a booklet, let's open that up. And is this the hand lotion? That would be so nice, love this. Everything full-size, that is just amazing. So let's see here. This is the Yes Le Bomb the bomb <laughs> so I love that I have purchased that before and then here is wow this is like a notebook this is like the Dior notebook I can't believe they gave this to me so here it is wow and I have a Dior notebook and it actually feels you know it feels the same I can't believe this wow this is an amazing gift it says Dior around the world I think yes and it has all the animals on it. It says Christian Dior here, so beautiful. And then here is just, let's see here, the Maison, the House of Dior is pleased to offer you this special gift. Wow, an exclusive creation for a magical moment in Dior. That's beautiful, wow. And today is a very special day. So how amazing is that, wow. So now here is what I actually ordered, the new makeup from Dior that has come out. So I think they did send some samples here. So let's see what this is. I think maybe the fragrance samples that they usually ask you when you check out which fragrance, what samples you would like. There's usually skincare. Oh, there's a mini Miss Dior. Wow, I, you know, I, for some reason, and I couldn't believe it because I love pink and I love very feminine. Look at how beautiful. I love normally just very feminine things. And I, for some reason, I never, you know, I never purchased the Dior. And I was never, you know, it was just didn't resonate with me. But then recently, I am in love with it. I, I just got into it. And the thing that I love about it is that it smells so clean and fresh. So when you put it on, you just immediately feel so clean and so fresh and uplifted. That's what I love it for now. I apps, I'm like addicted to it now. I really am. I love it. So definitely shop the Dior website and you'll get, you wind up getting essentially points and then you can get these gifts. So now we can test out the makeup. Those were the samples that I got. Here is an, oh, this is another receipt. And then let's see here, here is the makeup. So I'm very excited because I personally love stick foundation and especially if you have dark circles under your eyes, nothing conceals dark circles and hollowing, in my opinion, like a cream foundation. So uh, I got that. So I'm really excited they have this. Even with cream foundation, now it, of course it could be heavy, but let's see their formula. Maybe it's not. But um, let's see what we have here actually. But you know, cream foundation, if you don't want to wear it all over, just put a little bit on the hollowing on your under eye area or where there's darkness and it just will totally take it away so first thing guys i have to say the packaging is absolutely stunning it's oval so it's not round and it feels so good in your hand it feels very luxurious and oh yes here's the foundation and then so the other one must be the contour so let me go ahead and open this up first let's just take a look but I tried to get this in store and it wasn't available. I went to Neiman Marcus. Oh, this is different. So the contour is in matte packaging as opposed to the foundation. That's good. So you know which one you're reaching for. So you'll know that you're reaching for your contour when it's the matte finish. So I got a very deep shade because I do like a, a, a little bit more contour. And then, you know, let's see how it works though. But this does look very deep. Maybe that's too deep for me but hopefully not but you know we'll see I'll make it work and then I got some oh here is the 
the palette that they came out with it's a but they also came out with blush palettes i just didn't get one but they look beautiful but this one is the highlight and contour palette so let's see here oh so this is more of has some shimmer to it but it feels buttery soft wow but it does have a bit of shimmer so this might be more something you want to use on the high points of your face not necessarily as a traditional highlighter we'll see how it works though so let's go ahead now and test out the foundation stick so right now on my face do i i just have on some jouet barrier cream i don't have a primer on so this looks like a very nice shape though that you can just take it and apply it right under your eye now first of all it feels cool to the touch and it feels very creamy which is so nice because a lot of stick foundations are dry in the formula i don't know why but this is very creamy this is how i normally will wear my cream foundation i usually don't put it all over but i just want to show you and see for myself let's just look at how it conceals the circles yes isn't that beautiful I and mean, this is so creamy so now normally again i don't put it all over but for the sake of testing it out let's go ahead but that yeah because that's beautiful wow it's so creamy you know a lot of times i don't want to put them all over because normally they are kind of dry in texture or too thick but this isn't this doesn't feel too thick this actually feels amazing okay i could totally see wearing this all over on the regular because again it just feels so good it does not again it doesn't feel too heavy which other stick foundations had felt to me in the past that's why i didn't put them all over but this feels so weightless it feels incredible so what do you beauties think of the difference do you feel like it made a huge difference i do i really do see so much coverage to the under eye especially when i usually do do color correcting and i didn't do co i didn't do anything to my skin today except for again the moisturizer so normally i do color correct this color corrected it did everything filled in the hollowing this is an amazing product wow and i haven't even put on you know concealer yet i really if if you didn't want to i feel like you wouldn't even have to put concealer on with this because it did so much concealing and you know what it also does not have a scent which i like because some of some foundations are wonky with the scents they're like very floral or something and i just they're not for me but this has no scent so love that the, the, again it's almost gel like on the skin it has some radiance it's just creamy and beautiful wow and you know i have the hourglass stick foundation which i use under my eyes that is very thick this is almost a more natural finish than the hourglass and it just feels amazing it really does wow and then let's go ahead and put on some of this contour now again i hope you could see here but it might be too dark but let's see well it is pretty dark but it feels so good on the skin wow but i that is i think man, i might have to return this let's see if it will blend out but it's too it looks too dark right yeah it's it's too cool or something what do you think actually <laughs> now i'm starting to yes okay once we blend it out oh okay there you go okay that's it it doesn't look too dark it's really beautiful i'm gonna let you know in a moment what shade i got i know i did get a very deep shade because i sometimes they're too light and i don't want it i definitely didn't want it too light i like to see the contour so I definitely wanted to get a deeper this is beautiful wow okay so this worked out this is gorgeous what do you guys think and again so just like the foundation so creamy so it actually feels so good on your skin if you have dry skin sensitive skin you will probably love this I know I have very sensitive skin so things just irritate me <laughs> so like no yeah you know, that my skin gets irritated very easily so that is absolutely gorgeous though it seems a little dark for the nose so i'm not really sure if i would use this as a nose contour but let's try it out once you blend it out it does look beautiful actually because it i was afraid it wouldn't blend out well on the nose but actually it does blend beautifully what do you guys think i'm just gonna put on a little bit of concealer now i have here the dior forever concealer so let's just put a little bit of this on and i'll just set that with a little bit of translucent setting powder 
So let's go ahead now and test out the contour and glow palette. So I'm just gonna dip right in to the contour shade first. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, it's very, the shade, this one I got probably, you know, a lighter shade. This is shade 100. So it's working beautifully over the deeper contour that I did. This is gorgeous. It's very light though. So it's a, just a beautiful light effect, but it's beautiful, wow. And this, I will definitely would contour my nose with. This is a beautiful shade if you have a complexion like mine. If you like to contour your nose, this is a gorgeous shade right there. Very easy, definitely just so beautiful and easy to do. This is gorgeous, wow. And then let's try some of the Glow product. Some Dior products I think are just so outstanding, like their face products and their glow products and the blushes are just everything wow look at how beautiful that is and so natural looking too and let's just put some of this glow into the eye tear duct area let's just put on a little bit of blush and here is this blush here this one is called coral actually guys you know that this one was too light for me so i'm just mixing in a little bit of this one here this one is cherry. So I'm just putting a little cherry right kind of on the apples just to brighten my face because I didn't feel like the coral was very brightening. And then I have here the Dior lip liner. This one is 300. So it's called Nude Style. And here is the Dior lip oil in Rosewood. So beauties, this is the finished look. I cannot believe how gorgeous this foundation is. And I actually never wore the blush like this before with these two mixed together. And I love the effect. I'm so happy that we tried that out tonight because these two together is a dream, seriously. And this lip is beautiful too, this rosewood. I'm so happy with everything. Wow, you know, this foundation stick though is a must have. It just gives your skin such a beautiful look. And let's see here. Oh, this is a dream. This is amazing. I love this. I want to keep putting it on, actually. I would love to put some more. I just want to see how it looks in the center. What do you guys think? This is so beautiful. Now, this, I, I could see, I you know, I could see getting another one of these in a deeper shade and the contour stick in a lighter shade. But I'll definitely use these up. And then when I go to purchase again, I'm, you know, I'm going to experiment. It was hard because, again, they don't have, I don't know if they have this in your store. But I had to order some and they didn't have it in store at Nima Marcus. So maybe Sephora. I should have checked in Sephora. I didn't think of that. But this makeup is gorgeous. I'm so happy. So let me know if you're going to pick up the contour stick and the new foundation stick from Dior. I will have everything linked down below and I'll also link what I can with the shop with YouTube features. Such a great way to shop here on YouTube. So let me know what you think of this new Dior makeup and let me know what your favorites are. And that's pretty much it. Don't forget to check out my community tab because I'm posting lots of giveaways and I have some amazing items for you beauties so definitely head to my community page also subscribe if you're not already subscribed and give me a thumbs up if you like today's video it helps me out so much so i hope you beauties are all doing good thank you for spending time with me today and i'll see you very soon Bye.